You now have enough background to say something about the structure of solutions of systems of linear equations. Consider a system AX equals B. So this is a system of linear equations and suppose that we have some particular solution XP. then we can build up all solutions using this XP and the kernel of A. Since X star represents a solution, if and only if X star is the sum of this particular solution XP plus some element XH from the kernel of A. So this is part of what do we write H? Well this stands for part of the homogeneous solution which is in fact the kernel. So this means that the solution of AX is B it's basically the complete solution is the sum of a particular solution and the kernel of A. So we, the proof goes as follows. First suppose that X star is a solution. So suppose X star is a solution, then we know that A times this X star equals B. But we also have that A times XP equals B. So now we combine these facts to show that A times the difference vector, the vector X star minus XP equals A times X star minus A times XP equals B minus B equals the zero vector. So now the thing is that we see that x star minus xp over here, x star minus xp belong to the kernel of A. So now we may write, we may decompose x star in the sense that it's a sum of xp plus something in the kernel of A which is no more than x star minus xp. So any element can be written as xp plus something that it belongs to the kernel of the matrix A. So now we go back. Suppose we have that each solution to the system of linear equations can be written using the particular solution XP plus some homogeneous component XH. Yeah, so for some XH belonging to the kernel of the matrix A. Well then we just calculate A times X star which equals A times XP plus XH. equals A times XP plus A times XH. Well, we know that A times XH belongs to, XH belongs to the kernel, so this yields zero. A XP equals B, so what we finally get is just a vector B. So 
So this means that X star is a solution of the system. So now we're done.